Hello. Do you feel like you have so much to do in so little time to get it done? Like time flies, you're not through your list, and you might feel frustrated and overwhelmed and just like, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, this live is for you, or if you know someone who um, has too many things to do and not enough time to do them, this live is for them. So I'm sharing my five best time-saving tips that will help you get more done um, and keep the overwhelm and frustration to a minimum. I am Liz Medley. For those of you that do not know me, I help successful entrepreneurs supercharge their social media so they can create passive income on line. Um, so right away, if you want the show notes, the written format of this show, you can comment Liz list, two words, Liz list below, and Lulubot will send you over uh, the show notes for this. All right. Also, I am going to be giving away one of my favorite books, Girl Stop Apologizing. If we can get this live shared 25 times. So 25 sharesies will get you an entry to win this. After you share it, just comment shared and you will get an entry for Rachel Hollis's Girl Stop Apologizing. Great book, great book. So here we go. Good morning, Charlene. Good morning, Tammy. Kelly's in the house. Christina McCord. Zena, hello. Hi. Okay, so if you want the written version, Liz List will get you that. It's also, I'm going to be dropping a lot of resources and information on, on tools and things that I use. And so, Liz, same Liz List below will get you um, the link to those resources, okay? Um, so, let's go ahead and get started on this training. Say hello as you hop on. I am sharing with you my five. Uh, top time saving tips for your business and your life so you can actually get all your stuff done no matter how busy life is. Um, these are things that I do every week, every day to save me a lot of time, energy, and save me money. So I'm going to share with you, um, like I said, the resources and the services and products I use so you don't have to spend time like hunting down all your options. I've already done that for you, okay? Um, I'm going to see if I can get uh, comments up over here as well so I can see uh, what all questions you guys have if I don't see your question come on baby what you doing over here um, if I don't see your question I will answer it afterwards all right okay so I'm gonna share the resources with you that I mentioned and if you are overwhelmed and you need some time-saving um, productivity tips, this training is for you. All right? So go ahead and comment, share it. If you have shared this, I'm giving away Rachel Hollis's book if we get 25 shares. And so time-saving tips. Get more done in your business and in your life. My first time-saving tip is scheduling your week and planning your day. So one thing that I do is I actually use a written planner. Every week, I will go to the following week. Let me show you this, let me open this up. This is actually last year's. But I'll go to a week in advance in my calendar and I will plan out what I need to do, what I have to do, and what happens is I can, I can, it's like a screenshot, you know, I can see, okay, these are the things that I'm doing every day, next week, I plan them out, I schedule them in, and then every night before I go to bed, I look at my planner, what do I have to do tomorrow? So a week prior, I start scheduling things out, I get a game plan going, I set time aside for what I need to get done, have to get done, and want to get done. Uh, I go, Before I go to bed, I make sure that I have a plan on what I need to do for the next day, okay? And then inside this planner, I also have lists, I have time set aside, and I schedule exactly what I'm going to do. Um, my husband laughs because I use a physical planner. I also use my phone uh, with important things or random things that I have to do for the, a day or a time period that is not normal or I have to exactly do it at this specific time. I also set alarms in my phone. Um, 
physical planners, there's something about writing it down that really, really helps me uh, remember and scratching it off makes me feel productive and keeps me excited and going. Um, and actually, if you comment Liz List, you, LuluBot will send you the show notes and there will be a link for you to get 10% off your passion planner. I have been using this passion planner um, since they were a Kickstarter. So I think this is like my sixth year using it. I love it. It's simple. Um, the small one is my favorite because I can just throw it in my purse and go. I also use a tool called Trello. Now Trello helps me and my myself and my team and other people um, keep track of tasks and projects. It makes it super, super simple. I even keep track of people in there uh, who I need to follow up with, who I want to reach out to. Um, Trello is a lifesaver. It is a must, even if you work by yourself, like you have to start using Trello. Um, and LuluBot will send you that if you comment list list below. So um, I'm going to try again to get comments going over here. Let's see. Let's see. Um, okay, here we go. I always start and then post something distracted. Get through that life. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I got 20 things going. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this um, Trello will help you. Creating a plan and a list is going to help you. Um, thank you for sharing, Jamie. Thank you for sharing, Charlene. I'm scatterbrained as well. So let's just keep going because here I am getting scatterbrained. Um, but I just want to make sure that I don't miss your questions. 25 shares also is going to get you, um, if you share, you're going to get an entry to win this book. So go ahead and just hit the share button. Okay, here we go. Um, so Trello, make sure that you start using that. And also remember, a, pro a productive day doesn't just like happen. Like you've got to plan it out. You've got to have a game plan um, either the morning of the night before. And also, like I said, I start scheduling things the week prior. Um, you need to have a plan and then work your plan, sit down every night, plan out your day, uh, get in your planner, make notes, make lists and setting alarms is really, really important in your phone. So you can say, um, on task and you can also use your time wisely. Like, okay, I set aside 45 minutes to do this, set your timer when the 45 minutes is up, then look at your plan again. Look at your uh, planner again. See what needs to happen, okay? So time-saving tip number two. Number two. This freaks me out, um, and it's going to freak some of you out. You're going to say, I can't do that. Not happening. Like, you're going to have, like, you're going to stop listening on this tip, okay? You're going to stop listening um, because you don't think it's possible. I, I get it. I was there also. But my time-saving tip number two is outsourcing a few household duties that someone else can do. These are things that have to be done, but you don't. You just don't have the time to do them. Or you spend the time doing these things, and then you neglect your business. You neglect the things that bring you joy, the things that you want to do, the things that should be done to grow your business. Um, one of the things is um, like meal prep or something, right? Like we have to eat, so that's something that needs to be done. But the thing is, when you take into account the time it takes to go to the grocery store or do laundry, wash, fold, put away the laundry, even cleaning the house, that time adds up and it adds up really quick, right? So for years now, I've hired out some of these chores because they have to be done. And here's the thing, here's the thing, before I even go any farther with this, I don't hire this stuff out and like sit around and eat bonbons and watch someone clean my house. I don't sit around and eat bonbons and think about uh, Brandy doing my laundry. Like that's not what happens. I hire these things out and during that time it frees me up to do income producing activities that are going to grow my business. They're going to help other people grow their business. It's not just like, oh, finally a break. I can watch TV. Um, and this actually might surprise you. This may surprise you um, to find out that you can usually make more money during this time than it actually costs to pay someone to clean your house. If you're paying $20 an hour for someone to clean your house and you're doing income producing activities and you know that you make $40 an hour, when you do these activities, you're making $40 an hour, you're paying someone else 20 that frees up your time and you're still in positive cash flow. Same thing to do your laundry. Like you'd be shocked how inexpensive it is if you have laundry service. Now listen, I'm from a small town and you may not be able to have laundry service, 
But I was shocked to find out that we have it here. They pick it up, they wash it, they dry it, they fold it, and they bring it back. For less, I, would, I lose money when I do laundry. Because it costs me $20 an hour to pay someone else to do it. And I make more than $20 an hour. So why would I do it? Why would you do it? To free up your time to work your business. Okay? Now I knew another thing that we do is uh, Instacart. And this is grocery delivery. Okay? Grocery delivery saves me time. And it actually saves me money. Because it's like these are the things on the list. These are the things that we need. So guess what? Random stuff doesn't add, end up in my cart buying things that we don't really need. Stick, I stick to the list. Someone shops, someone shops for it, buys it, brings it, delivers it. I put it away, bada bing, bada boom, it's done. Okay? And actually, if you want to save $10, um, comment Liz List. Lulubot will send you the show notes, and there is a link for you to save $10 on grocery delivery if it's in your town. So listen, I live in a small town, and we have these services. Um, and the thing is, if none of these services are an option for you or available in your area, just set aside um, a day or a time of week to get these things done, okay? Um, my third tip for you, I hate laundry also. Like, I hate it. Don't like it. Don't do it. I hate it. <laughs> ah! Also, I'm with you on that, girl. I'm with you on that. All right, let's keep going. Hey, Tammy, what's up, Christina, Alicia, Madison, hello. All right, so time-saving tip number three um, is Amazon Prime and Amazon Wardrobe, okay? So shopping is so time-consuming, and clothes shopping, that is a whole freaking other story. Um, so let's talk about Amazon Prime first off, okay? So it's easy. They have almost everything that you need and great prices. It's competitive prices. Uh, for example, we buy everything from uh, granola bars to toilet paper, paper towels, cleaning supplies, like basically anything that you can think of, we probably order it from Amazon. When you use Amazon Prime, they have free two-day shipping, return, free returns on almost every single item, and it's huge. Like I save so many hours. I save so many hours by using Amazon Prime, and actually there's a 30-day free trial for you. Um, in the show notes. So now let's talk about shopping for clothes. I personally am not a clothes shopper. I know some people really, really enjoy it. They love it. They, that's like maybe their hobby. I don't know. For me, I do not enjoy it. Um, and it takes so much time because I'm like having to try on stuff and go to the, like, oh my gosh, all the things. So, you know, from the time it takes to drive to the store, find the clothes you like, try them on, purchase the things, drive home. It takes a lot of time. Um, but if you haven't heard of Amazon Wardrobe, then you should totally check it out. So you get clothes, shoes, jewelry, handbags, um, and whatever you don't want to keep, you just return, and you only pay for the items that you do keep. It's really simple. It's super cool. Um, even using your Amazon Prime account, shopping on Amazon is really simple. And like I said, most of the stuff has free returns, and so sometimes if I'm like, I don't know exactly what size I want, or... What about this or this item? Oh, I don't know. I will just order them both in all the sizes. It gets delivered in two days. I try, what I'll, try it on. What I want to keep, what I don't want, I just ship it back. And so um, you never need to leave your house, and you save so much stinking time. It's been a huge, huge time saver for me. I know that you're busy. I know that you want to save yourself a boatload of time. Um, so you can put that time into your business. So if you're not an Amazon Prime member, you totally should be. 30-day free trial when you say Liz List, okay? Carrie says, I hate shopping for clothes. I use Stitch Fix, and it's the best thing ever. Absolutely. I am right there with you. All right, so let's go ahead and go to uh, time-saving tip number four, and this is automating your content. So content creation takes so much time. I'm dyslexic, and so it takes extra time. I'm slow. I'm not crafty. Like, it has been something that I've been working on for years, telling stories in written format, you know, blogging. I even vlogged for a while um, because 
because I sucked at it and I wanted to get better. And I know still how much time it takes me and I've been practicing it for years. So automating your content creation, um, not only from your blogs to your social posts, but like on all your platforms and your groups and your pages and your profiles, like it can consume your entire day, right? So, and it's a cycle. You always have to create new and you always have to create more. I would daydream about something that would tell me like what posts my audiences love, what's viewed the most, and how can I reuse it and repurpose it and recycle it without having to manually do it and manually like keep track of, okay, I posted this last week, can't post it again this week. Like all, like my brain daydreamed of it, but I just, like it didn't exist, right? So I was telling my business coach about it and she had the freaking answer and it's so good. It is so good. And um, she gave me a 30 day free trial and I have been in love with it ever since. It is called Smarter Q. Um, LizMedley.com forward slash so good because it is so freaking good. So, and this is, you guys, this is the biggest kept secret that social media managers don't want you to know about. They don't want you to know about it. Um, why? Because it's freaking badass and it makes content creation freaking child's play, man. It repurposes, it recycles, it's scheduled where you gotta go, where you gotta put it. It gives you analytics on what posts work and what posts aren't working, how many times it's post. You can use these same words with a variation of pictures. You can use a variation of text with one picture or any of these pictures with a variation of any of these texts. Like, woo! I know that's just a lot I just threw up all over you, but it is simply amazing simply made it saved me hundreds and hundreds of hours and I thought okay free trial I'm gonna finally figure it out my free trial is gonna expire I'm not gonna know if I want to pay for it monthly or not um, and my I got it set up in like I don't know five hours maybe like <sighs> y'all it is the cat's meow it is so good lizmelly.com for slash so good or Liz List, you can get the written show notes and it's there. So um, this is time saving tip number five. And remember, if you share this live video, I am giving away this book right here to the ones that shared it. You're gonna get an entry and one of you lucky dogs is gonna win Rachel Hollis's book, Girl Stop Apologizing. Um, let's go ahead and hit the share these button and comment share these below and you'll get an entry. So time saving tip number five is learn on the go. Learn on the go. I think all business owners will agree that daily personal development is key. It's a must. I also think we would all agree um, that sometimes it's put on the back burner because we're so freaking busy, right? Right? Are you busy too? Yeah, yeah. Um, so this time-saving tip when it comes to business is that I listen to my personal development and trainings when I'm getting ready in the morning, when I'm doing chores around the house or running errands or driving Ruby to school or doing whatever the things are I have to do. Why not, right? Um, there is no reason that you should ever have an excuse ever again for absorbing your personal development every single day. You can turn your car into a rolling university. This is one of my favorite, um, it's a sound bot, it's a shower speaker. So when I'm in the shower, I can get in my personal development. 10 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day. There's no reason that it shouldn't be a priority and can be done. Grab some earbuds if you're cooking dinner, pop one in. Many times, there's nothing to see only to listen to, right? Do you ever watch the replay of this? You're wasting your time if you're watching it. Typically, you just need to put in your earbuds and go on with doing what you're doing. So you get the content, but you can do other things during that. So uh, drive time is really good. Um, how, many, you know, how many hours a week do you spend in your car running the kids to practice? Picking them up to school, taking them to school, back and forth, running around, da 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 da. Like that's a lot of time that's spent in the car, uh, and that's a perfect time to listen to your personal development so you can get more done. Um, and then when you're home or when you're settled in, you actually can use that time to spend working your business. So let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. Um, we all live super busy lives. We all do. 
I want you to know those successful entrepreneurs create a plan and they work their plan. All right, you guys. Thank you for joining me. I'm here every Tuesday at 1030. If there's a specific topic you want, shout, put in the comments. Send me a message. I am here for you. If you ever watch the replays, I always try and go back and answer any questions or reply to all your comments. But I am here to serve you Tuesdays at 1030. So tell me what you need to know. Let me know what you want to learn. And together, uh, we can make a change. We can grow your business. We can change. Um, where you're at, we can get you unstuck, we can get you moving, we can help you uh, create a plan. So I am here for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Fingers crossed that we got 25 sharesies so I can get an entry, or so you can get an entry and I can give you away this book. That made it no sense. <laughs> so I can give someone this book who shared this video. So again, comment Liz Liz, Lulu Bot will send you a message and hook you up with the show notes so you don't have to go back and watch it. Someone's son just spilt a glass of water and I know that you missed some of this. So instead of going back and re-watching it, go ahead and just comment Liz Liz and you can get the written version. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next Tuesday at 1030. Bye.